welcome to the second annual Sing Fling Reunion. I'll give it up for yourself. That's right, those who I haven't met you, my name is Mr. Jordan C. Jones. I'm the director of bands here, and I'm very glad to be here. I'm an alum of the Hillside Band Program, and uh, I'm very excited for you all to witness what these students have been working all summer for. So at this time, would you please rise for the playing of the Negro National Anthem and the National Anthem. Thank you all for coming out this year. Uh, these students have worked hard all summer. They sacrificed their summer break just to come out here and, and practice this music, be able to put on a show for this season. Uh, before we get started, we have one of our current students, Mr. Antoine Whitting, who's going to do a prayer. Everybody, by their hands, close their eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today as humble servants upon you. We ask that you bless and touch each and every alumni and current student that's here today. We ask that you give us the strength and power to go out and vote so we can do what we need is necessary. God, I ask you that you lay hands on everyone that needs, everyone that's home, and everyone that's sick. God, I ask that you give us the strength and power to survive another school year or college or to deal with our bosses on our job, Lord. We ask that you give everyone the need and praise because we're all standing before you because we know angels bow before you and heaven and earth adore you. In your name, amen. All right now, Bishop. All right, as I mentioned before, these students have worked hard, very hard all summer. So after every song, I need you all to give it up. I need you to clap as loud as you can, cheer as loud as you can. Um, and I'm gonna get all my talking out the way at the beginning as best as I can, um, cause I know you all came here to hear them play and not hear me talk. Um, but I have some very important thank yous I wanna give out first. Um, first to the Hillside Administration. Um, they send their regrets that they could not be here. Uh, but we have our new principal, Mr. Joshua Mallory, Ms., uh, Dr. Floyd, Ms. Reed, and Ms. Scott. 
We also want to thank our athletic director, Coach Graves. He's been very supportive of the band program this year. Uh, we also want to give a shout out to our arts department. Miss Agerson, I know you're here in the building. Miss Chen Flu, our dance teacher, Miss Tyra Scott, who's our chorus teacher. Miss Ochoa and Miss Hawkins, who is over our photography and our visual arts program. Do we have any other Hillside faculty in the building? Please stand and be recognized. I will give them a round of applause in spirit. That's it. Next, a very important group that uh, contributes to the operation of the band program that is our band parent organization. So please stand to be recognized. Our president, Ms. Walterine Logan. She cooked our food for the band. The band is gonna be eating after this. Uh, our vice president, Ms. Crystal Johnson. Our treasurer, Ms. Elisa Miller. Our secretary, Ms. Denise Rich. And they do so much more than what their titles call for, and they are backed by a whole group of parents to help them and support them on the way. So we want to give them a big round of applause and say thank you. This event also wouldn't be possible without our volunteers. We had alumni, we had current students that are, and uh, college students that volunteered to do this. They were led by our volunteer coordinator, Ms. Tiffany Crawford. Please give them a round of applause. We also want to give a special thank you out to our National Alumni Association. Uh, big shout out to Ms. Julia Fairley, Ms. LaShondra Scott, and Melody Scarborough. Give it up for the Alumni Association. Our homecoming game is on September 20th, right here in, in Russell Lee Blunt Stadium. And please come out to the homecoming parade that is on that following Sunday on uh, September 22nd. The route is going from Shepherd Middle School to Hillside High School. Uh, lastly, certainly not last, excuse me, the Alumni Band Organization, which is run by Mr. Roy Ector. Where you at, Roy? Yes. Right after the performance, we're calling all alumni to come to a uh, alumni band interest meeting. We're trying to get the interest built back up. We, we used to have a very, very great alumni band program here, and we want to rebuild that. So please stop by the band room at 615 to learn more about what's happening. Now, enough about me, let's get back to the music. This next song is written by one of our previous directors. This is the official hymn of the Immortal Sting. It's called Children of Sanchez. Uh, you will hear the students sing the lyrics to this song as well. And the lyrics are this. Every child belongs to mankind's family. Children are the fruit of all humanity. Let them feel the love of all the human race. Touch them with the warmth the strength of that embrace. All right?
So I've got a couple more thank yous I've got to give out too. I do not do this job by myself. I'm assisted by some very important people. First of all, my assistant band, band, uh, assistant band director, Mr. Ruben Abukana. Uh, yeah. As well as our Sparkle Auxiliary is coached by Miss Jessica Burroughs, Miss Bianca Hunter, and Miss Jordan Jackson. just in case. All right, our percussion section is coached by Mr. Byron Geddes Jr. and Mr. Mark P. Hester. And one of our newest teams that is run by uh, an alum as well, which I did forget to mention, um, all of our Sparkle coaches are alum, as well as Mr. Marquis. Um, but our next media team, which is run by Mr. Devin Edwards, he's right up there on top of the press box. They play a very important role in making sure that we get the exposure that we need to the community, um, being able to see all the hard work that our students are putting in. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the spot that does not have the feedback. Uh, I don't like feedback. Uh, but who, who do we have in the building? Do I have any Hornets from the classes of the 60s in the building? Raise your hand. Stand up, be recognized. That's right. 
What about any classes from the 70s? We got anybody from the 70s? Y'all yeah, bear with me. I'm gonna find the sweet spot. I'm gonna find the sweet spot. Everybody, class from the '80s. '80s in the building. Yeah, that came out strong. We got any Hornets from the 1990s? What about the 2000s? 2000s in the building. My sister's class of 07. And then my decade. Anybody from the 2010s? Yeah. Do we have our newest and youngest Hornets, the 20s? <laughs> Alumni from the 20s, that's right. <laughs> so we also have, um, I know we have a couple of, uh, I know our, one of our former directors is in the building, Mr. Xavier Kaysen, if you please stand. There he is. Papa Kaysen. I also know Miss Sybil Haskins is on the way, and she made it here yet? Well, yeah, y'all give it up for Miss Silver Haskins. And then, as well, one of our other big supporters is Mr. Wendell Tab. Is he in the building? I know he, he told me he was going to make it. He might be here a little bit later. Um, so, I want to talk a little bit about the purpose of Sting Flame. Um, this is to provide an annual event that synergizes the current students, the alumni, and the surrounding community of Hillside. And I was actually doing some research in the library about Hillside and the, the origins of the band program. The band program started in 1938 and I found an article that really speaks to where we are today. So this is how the article reads. The proponents of Hillside High Band are victims of a system which is used all over the South to the further pauperize Negroes and make them do double duty to obtain support from public funds. If you will raise a certain amount, we will give you a certain amount. It's the offer which has often made Negroes desiring schools and other advantages. The poor Negroes, unmindful of the fact that they've already paid for schools through public tax funds, set about to meet the requirements out of their meager earnings. The struggle and circumstances under which funds are raised and the sacrifices made to do so are often enough to bring tears to the eyes of the hardest criminal. The Carolina Times is in sympathy with the move to secure a ban for Hillside High School, but the Carolina Times feels that the same source, which was tapped to secure funds for ban at Central High School, should also be tapped to secure funds for a ban at Hillside High School. Now, when I read that, you could easily just get angry and realize we're listening to the same scenario that's been going on in 1938 to present day. But actually, we know that since then, this ban has done amazing things, right? We know this band has done amazing things since 1938. The first band director took those students into the community to raise that money to start this band program, which means from the band's inception, it's been a community-supported band program. And that's why you're here today. You're our community. So give it up for yourselves for showing up. So with that being said, some of you all should have gotten the season tour card that was handed out when you first walked in. On the back of that card, well, in the front of that card, you'll see all the places that we're performing at this fall. We'll be at every home game, we're doing a couple of away games, and a few band competitions. You'll also look on the back of that card, you'll see an Amazon wish list with QR codes. These QR codes are already set up that if you'd like to shop on Amazon, you got Amazon Prime, you can purchase what we need for our individual sections of the band, and those items will be automatically sent here to the building. You send them right to the front door of the school. So if you don't know what your money's going towards, you can pick your favorite item. If you only got $15 to give, find something that costs $15. If you got $100 to give, give $100. If you want to give a monetary donation, that last QR code at the bottom, you can just give a, a blank check. We'll, we'll take it. <laughs> if you're like, Mr. Jones, I am not a QR code person. That does not work for me. My email is at the bottom of that card. If you email me, I will send you all of, a link to all of those lists, okay? We are certainly in need of quite a few things for us to be successful, and clearly by the history and the inception of this program, we cannot wait on public funds to do so. So we need your help. So, let's move on. So 
some of our uh, individual sections of the band have worked really, really hard and they have some sectional punches. So we're going to shout out and let them demonstrate their. Uh, we're going to start with the trumpets. We've got Mr. Amari Poti, Amirko Dunstan, Mahogany Hill. Next, we're going to hear from the baritone section, UFOs. right there, Mr. Amari Bobbitt. Next, we're going to hear from the trombone section. trombone section we do have our jazz band director our student director august bass wave your hand august we, we have quite a few student leadership one thing about our band program is we develop student leaders within our program this isn't just about uh, developing musicians many of these students may not continue music after leaving this program we always hope that they do but if we're able to develop leaders out of our students that is a skill set that will transfer to anywhere that they go we also have quite a few other student leaders in our mellophone section. We have our program director, Ms. Lene Bullock. We have our librarian, Ms. Zeta Mott. 
And our woodland section is a sophomore captain, Mr. Walter Logan. We have our drum majors here in the front, Mr. Eddie White IV. And Mr. Logan Scarborough. Leading Sparkle, we have Miss Taryn Mel. Olivia Howard. And Morgan Williams. And now I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let Blue Steel play for you a little bit. On our drum line, we have two captains. We have Mr. Edwin Bandy Johnson on the first base right there. Give him a wave. Give him a wave, Bandy. Let me know who you are. And we have Mr. William Ritz on the drop base in the back. All right, drum line, give it to him. I have another selection for you. If you know this one, please sing along. We do have one last presentation for you before we head up to the band room and get to party. As the band is going to go ahead and get the place on the field. We're going to do a short performance for you on the field. 
Um, as I mentioned before, the students have sacrificed many of their summer hours to put this show together. Cheer, we have an outcast themed show. That's it. If any of you all know the history of Outkast, in 1994 they were brand new artists. And at that time, in 1995, they won brand new artists of the year at the Source Awards. When they went to the Source Awards, they were booed when they won this award. So in very Outkast fashion, Andre 3000 got up on the mic and said, Outkast at the South got something to say. And so for the past few years, I've been walking around the community, I've heard the people's complaints, I've heard people talking all kinds of trash about Hillside. Well, guess what? Hillside got something to say. So everywhere we go this year, every time we go to another school, every competition we go, we got something to say, all right? So we're going to do this quick performance for you on the field. Afterwards, we're going to march it back on up to the band room. All the alumni, we really appreciate you. We want you to march back in with us. And when the, once the band goes through the tunnel, you all go through the tunnel as well. All right? <laughs> 